Hello everybody and welcome to the second time we've been here. This is the second time we've been at the point where we are seeing the grand final of the IEC, the Irish Elite Cup. We're in here in the grand finals today, a face-off, a match of the titans between a team that is has far too many letters for me to pronounce, two J's, one C, I'll call them, and take the moot. I'm not alone here this evening, I am joined by one of the newer casters in RLI and a new moderator as well, Wazito, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Rez. Really excited to get into the final. It's going to be a great matchup. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's definitely going to be an interesting one because four of the players out of the six that we're seeing this, this evening also played in last week's final. But obviously with the ruling that um, the players or the, the same team can't stick together two weeks in a row, then, two, then Shallow has jumped ship. So the team is obviously now being Rob Kinn and Mug and APS against Shallow, Panda, and Arctic. And I just want to get your view on this match, Waz, of both these teams have some incredible lineups on paper, but do you think there's one that sort of stands out as the one that sort of on paper seems like the strongest? Yeah, so I actually managed to play both of these teams leading up to the final. We uh, Rob Keir did APS, so 2Js, 1C. A tough game, very aggressive team. Complete opposite of take to moot. Uh, the two teams. I think I'm going to have to go with Take to Moot. Panda, obviously a very top threes player. I know what 2J's 1C's consists of twos players and also obviously Rob Kieran being one of the top ones players in the whole world. But I still think Take to Moot's going to take it just on the level of rotations and being a bit more threes players, maybe a bit more solid one defensively. So that's what I'm going to have to head for, Take the Moot, taking the games. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to be getting into this best of seven very shortly between these two teams, both of them have not lost a single game to get to this point, both going 4-0. Um, 2Js1C, however, 3 0 in their semi-final, whereas Take the Moot, I'll oh, Take the Moot also 3 0 So both these teams having some incredibly formidable performances coming up to this point, and it is going to be an absolute thriller to see how it turns out. Going to get these boys into the lobby, and this is going to be a spicy one. Mug. Rob Kiernan and APS on the blue team and Shallow, Panda and um, Shallow, Panda and Arctic on the orange. Starting things off a bump play coming through from Mug. APS plays off the wall. A bump as well coming in from him. A demo in fact is Shallow forced to make a save on the goal line. Rob plays into the corner. In the Octane now. We've seen him in the Fennec for some time now but he's obviously switched back. Panda. A little bit awkward here as Rob may be able to play it off the backboard, tries to pop it in field, but Panda's easily there to save it. And some early pressure coming in, and Rob almost with a shot. And Waz, it seems like at the moment, just within the first 30 seconds, the pressure is on for um, Take the Moot to keep it out of their own net. Yeah, definitely. It's a common occurrence for 2Js 1C. They're a very strong pressure team, very aggressive. You see the rotation coming in from half field. They're not rotating back very far. They want to keep that pressure up. And I think they'll be able to do it for the substantial amount of time here. Yeah, the players turned around a little bit now, though, as Arctic looking to play it back in. Obviously, playing at such a high speed, there's just it's just so important to make sure that you know what your teammates are doing. Comms are absolutely critical at this level. Smug, slightly awkward touch, but manages to play it forward. He may be looking for APS, so he gets APS, does well there. Arctic's missed, and they almost... We're in a bit of trouble there. As Mug plays it forward to Rob. Oh, that was a good save by Arctic. The shot from Rob was impressive, but not impressive enough. Panda now on the backboard. And he's actually missed that one. That's a big mistake. Shallow there to clean it up. Arctic now. Left alone in there. Not too much boost to work with, but Shallow's there to bail him out. Mug now. Pressure yet again on for 2Js1C. They look to be getting some sustained shooting off at the moment as Rob tries to put one on net as Panda makes a save. And a shot from APS comes through, and that was a fantastic shot. Little pass in field, and APS opens up the final, Waz. Yeah, this is what 2J's 1C does best. Their I midfield pass, they've done it against us. They've done it against every team leading up to the final, and they are formidable coming off the side. Well, not many teams will beat them coming off infield pass, I'm afraid, Rez. Yeah, absolutely. You've just got to cut out those passes at the root if you'll take the moot. As Rob now tries to drop it down to APS once again as... Shallow there, he's cut the rotation once or twice now, possibly not trusting his teammates quite as much as he should. Zarktik now, looking to try and pop it over Rob, but he can't quite manage it. Rob now, 
Looks for the dunk, can't make it happen. It's shallow. He's got a poor 50 in the midfield, could drop to one of his teammates. It bounces across. APS now, coming off the roof, could try to knock this down. Possibility, but it's easy for Arctic to make the save. Rob up now. Can't put it in the back of the net. An opportunity for Panda. APS left all alone on his lonesome at the back, but he makes a good save, Wes. Yeah, definitely. We see Panda. He had a good chance, but unfortunately for him, his team had been pushed back quite far and they were all low on boost. He tried his best, but APS doing a great job again, being that third man for two aggressive players. Arctic now trying to drive the play forward to no avail though as Rob gets it clear. Rob, such a good ones player and he's managed to translate that quite well into twos and threes recently. Obviously taking the 2v2 and the 3v3 tournaments last weekend. Shallow knocking it forward. Panda now opportunities known for his clips as Rob only just makes it. That was a bit of a tricky one. It's a miss from Arctic. Leaves Panda alone. He's got to make the save. Mu APS looking for the musty flick and gets the dunk and... 2J's 1C have solidified their lead with a second. Yeah, definitely. We see APS coming out with the musty. He didn't get it, but he's still done very, very well to follow up and get the dunk on Panda, who was in a very, very awkward spot, being left on his lonesome the net. Absolutely. Panda, not much he could do to avoid that one. Could have tried to play it into the corner, but that's a dunk there. Panda, a couple of mistakes coming in early from him. Trying to knock it inside. Arctic there. Could try and play it back. It's a good 50-50, but Rob should be there. Shallow now. Panda takes it away. Mug. And it's safe in the corner. He's actually made a slight error on that one. Misjudged it perhaps. It's now Mug. Looking to play it back forward. Rob. Looks to fake out Panda. That's a good touch. But but such low boost for take the moot. They're really struggling to really get a foothold into this game at the moment, Was. Yeah, we see a lot of double and triple commits coming out in their own corner. They're really, really struggling to get that ball out. And like I was saying, the pressure from 2Js, as we just see a chance go straight from Rob. The pressure is just very, very hard to get out of. They're very quick players and they're very good at holding the pressure in the res. Shallow just inches away from finishing that one off, but Rob plays it forward. Trying to get a 50-50 into the midfield. It's cleared away by Arctic. That's well done by him. Despite the fact they are two goals down, they can sort of get a takeaway from this so far. That the amount of pressure that they've had sort of thrust upon them. They've done well to only concede two, but conceding two is no good if you're not scoring any, so... Shallow looking to turn that around now. Tries to get the 50-50. Arctic could be up. Could look to drop it down. It's over APS. But he gets a critical touch on the backboard. Rob now. They now out of defense. But Panda's right in the way to stop it. And Shallow could open things up for them. And Shallow. He's opened up his account in this grand final. And brought us back within one. Yeah, it's an important goal from Shallow. Time is still in their favor. 40 seconds left. 2J's 1C is obviously keeping the pressure on. But I think this might turn the tides. And give a good chance to Panda and Go to get the win here. Absolutely. Shallow, the driving force of the offense on this team. Perhaps Panda helping out as well as Arctic considered to sort of be the third man of this roster. Panda, moving forward, could look to get a flick, can't make it happen. Shallow now on the wall. Got no boost to work with. This is so disappointing. The fact that he's just got so little boost to work with and he's running out of time. Arctic, a miss on the side. Panda tries to knock it in field. Rob gets it clear only as far as Arctic he look, could look to get a second touch does get it but Mug is there but Panda takes it away from him opportunity for Shallow APS now clearing this could end up 3-1 rather than 2-2 as Rob may have a shot and he puts it in and that is going to confirm the game was yeah definitely you just see the desperation coming out from Panda and Co you see the pressure in their own corner just couldn't really get a chance and APS punishes again playing a great third man role today and really helping the boys out getting the ball out of their own box absolutely APS had big shoes to fill obviously Shallow playing on that team last week but APS seems to have fit into that nicely as he'll almost put one in that they will get the goal though and will, it's going to be 4-1 in game one and had it stayed 2-1, I would have said that the scoreline didn't really reflect the true pressure that 2J's 1C had. But I think I think 4-1 is respective of how they played. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. 4-1, they had a lot of chances. We see, if you look at the shots, we have very, very few shots coming out from Panda's team. And we see Rob alone, 6 shots, APS 7. That just goes to show how the game went and it deserved to win the first game for 2J's 1C. Absolutely, it was a good performance from them. And they're going to look to recreate it. Obviously, Rob and Mug and Shallow, who's now on the other team, um, did sweep the finals last week. Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't sweep the finals. What am I on about? But we're going to get into this once again. Game 2, 2J's 1C now have the advantage and take the moot. Are going to want to start the comeback now. They don't want to go two, go two 
Game's down. It's so difficult. Just the mentality to come back from that. It's Mug now. Able to get a little hook onto that. Panda though, up very quickly. Good speed from him. Rob now plays it infield to APS. These are the dangerous infield plays that we've seen so much. But it's cleared away. Shallow now. The pre-jump makes the save. APS. Can't get it back out. Rob is there though. And again, the suffocating pressure. 4-2-Js-1-C is coming out early. There's not a shot opportunity for APS. is skied right over the bar. Arctic now desperately trying to get out of his own net. But APS is just bumping him. Nothing he can do with that one as Arctic just makes a save. That's a phenomenal save from him. And he's going to keep them on level pegging at least for the first 45 seconds. Arctic now making the pre-jump. APS is there to meet him. But good speed from him. Looking to try and get another 50-50. But it's played back into the corner. And Waz... Pressure has continued, but there are sort of signs of life here for Take the Moot. Yeah, definitely. It's a sad thing to see. Shallow and Panda are such good mechanical players, but they can't do anything with that zero boost. Their boost is getting taken. Every time we see Arctic go for boost there, it's a good boost grab. But I think APS, again, just doing such a good job in the midfield, just suffocating them. And I think it's only a matter of time before we see a first goal coming out for 2J's 1C here, Rez. Absolutely. But Shallow, he doesn't think so. He tries to get it past Rob in the midfield. Can't do it. Rob now. This is the flick, uncharacteristic mistake from him. Being sort of a top 21s player, not just in Ireland, but in the world. You would expect slightly more from that, but moving on. Mug. Off into the corner, but Panda gets it clear. APS there to meet it. The game being played in the midfield at the moment. Every clear is met. As Mug. Gonna leave that one for Rob. Panda drops it down towards Shallow. Shallow gets a touch. APS, he's bumped his teammate, and that's a mistake. But Mug just gets there in time. Arctic now. Good speed. Comes off the ceiling. Can he get another touch? He can, but no one's up to contest. Panda now. Fakes out Rob. Could look to get it infield. One more, but he can't get that one critical touch. Mug looking for the bump, and that's a mistake from Arctic. The missed touch almost punished as APS puts it off the backboard. Shallow has to make a touch. He does. Panda's got... Oh, Arctic's got demoed in there to Mug. He's going to open up the game, and it's that pressure, Waz, that has come back to haunt to take the moot. Definitely. We see Arctic. A very, very small mistake, but that's all... 2J's1C really need here today. Just them slight mistakes, and you see them taking every chance they're given. And we see, um, my apologies, we see I take the move really struggling on the attack. They had two chances in a row there, but they really just couldn't get the shots on target. And it's going to be a really rough game for them today if they're not going to be taking them chances. Absolutely, it's critical that they try to be more clinical with their shots moving forward as Arctic stuck in the corner. Rob gets it past him, could look to get it infield again. Shallow just getting away with that, almost cutting off Panda. Played out. Rob should be there in time, and he is, but it's a slightly awkward touch. Arctic is going to get there first. Is there someone to follow it up? Shallow was there, but Mug, last ditch save, will keep it out. Shallow now tries to put it over the defense. APS there. Poor shot from Shallow. He wants to do better with those. And APS, that's a massive miss. And Arctic is going to score a goal and level things up in game two. Yeah, we see we see the pressure coming out from Take the Moot this time. APS with a bad whiff in the net, but it all came from shallow. A good shot into that near post, forcing a double commit and a really iffy clear from APS, and that leads to the first goal. Yeah, quite a big mistake from APS. He's going to look to recover. He had good form, especially in the first game. He's going to look to bring that back from now on. Plays off the backboard, Arctic. Big clear, but only as far as Robert Shallow. That's a fantastic 50-50. He gets it past him. Back into the corner now. Rob on the backboard, but also so is APS. A bump up field, disruptive plays from Mug, but that his teammates can't get the ball forward quick enough. Just so much disruptive plays, whereas I think that's one of the critical things that's been so good for 2J's 1C so far. It's just their disruptive plays upfield. Yeah, definitely. We see a player upfield at all times grabbing boost, going for bumps, and it's really making it awkward for uh, Take the Moo here today. They're really not being able to get anything flowing. We see Panda doing a bit more cherry picking alongside Shallow. I think they're trying to get a bit more aggressive, trying their best this game. They're doing a lot better than they were last game on it. Absolutely. The Bim Bam style, the approach coming out there. It's APS. Knocks it off the backboard. Panda will want to get there before it reaches him. He has. Good touch. Good second touch from him to get it over Rob. Could try and get it past APS, but he's just out of boost. And that's been the story of this series so far for Take the Moots, Waz. It's just been a case of it's so close, but yet so far for Take the Moot, they've always been sort of five boosts short or one touch short to get in the goal. Definitely, and that's where that disruptive play for 2J's 1C really comes out here today. That small little bit of boost management just really bites them in the end. 
And that's a bad hit from Shallow, but he leaves it just wide of the post, and Arctic's struggling, but he's okay with Panda can recover as well. Yeah, slightly risky business from Shallow in that one, but we are still tied up in game two here, but 2J's 1C looking to change that as soon as possible, knocks into the midfield, and two bumps come through, but it's just not quite found its way into the back of the net. Somehow, Shallow tries to knock it infield, he's got no boost to work with now. APS, Panda all alone in the defense, tries to get the bump, but Panda... Still phenomenally there to make the save and APS more disruptive plays from him. Shallow now. Needs to get this flip, needs to get it clear. They just need a reset. They need to get to overtime and just take things step by step. It's Rob off the ceiling. He's not gonna be able to get a second touch. Panda may just try and put this to the floor. Plays it onto the wall. Arctic is there, but Mug gets there first. Still a chance for a goal here, but it is put to the ground by Take the Moot, and we're now in overtime. APS, let's get it off the backboard, Panda will be there. Oh, Panda's actually missed that one, APS now, plays it off the backboard towards Rob. This could bounce high, but Arctic is there, Mugs pre-jump is all going to be in vain, he's going to miss that one, and APS now, all alone. Shallow gets the flick over him, but it's allowed him to teammates time to get back, Panda flipping out of the way there, Arctic is out of position, and Rob maybe has to finish it off, and a great save from Panda to recover his earlier error. Arctic now. Tries to hit it only as far as Mug, who gets it back into the mix. Mug looking for another infield pass. He's been lethal and is again. Waz, 2J's 1C have taken game two. Yeah, once again, I think it's a deserved game two win for 2J's 1C. And the infield pass coming out every time, every game, they get one in there. And they're really struggling. Shallow and Panda, they're really struggling. The communication doesn't seem to be there. We're getting a lot of double commits on that back hole and a lot of poor misses from Shallow and Panda on that back hole also. We'll see if they can really calm it out in this third game and get the goals back, or are they going to keep on struggling with the pressure from uh, two Js and one C here, Rez? Absolutely, you've taken the words right out of my mouth. Communication, communication, communication. Panda has just looked out of place, to be honest, so far in this series. He hasn't really been able to get going. He's usually an offensive machine, especially against teams worse than his. But it just seems that he's been he's been faced with this brick wall defense of two Js and one C, and he's just not been able to penetrate it. Yeah, Panda, a very, very big threat, and 2J's 1C does seem to have the answer for everything he's doing. The demos and the bumps and the boost taking, it's just really making them suffer in that back wall, and the goals are coming out over time. Absolutely, this is a critical game for Take the Moot. I cannot see them completing a reverse sweep, so this is a must-win game. Panda, attempting to move it forward here. Has 38 boost to work with, gets a flick, but it's easy save for Rob. Easy pickings for him as... Oh, play far back, Arctic is there. Arctic and Panda, obviously long-time teammates back in the NSG days. The bump coming out from Arctic is going to allow Panda time to get a free touch. Panda, almost into the box. Shallow is waiting, but it's not quite reached him in time. Mug now gets a massive banger downfield, but Arctic is there. Panda getting a bit of retribution for all the demos APS got last game. As Rob looking to try and get a double touch. Can he read it? Just inches away. Devastating for Rob, so close to getting that touch, putting it in the back of the net, but can't make it happen. Two demos from Mug. Mug, known to be an incredibly frustrating player to play against, and he's up here now. Tries to get the read off the corner. This would be incredible if he could, but unable to finish it off. APS, back forward, Arctic now. Possibly towards Shallow, but Rob cuts out the play, intercepting in the midfield. APS. Trying to just cause problems in the corner, and that's exactly what he's just done. Leaves an opening for Rob, and Arctic can't get there. And yet again, it's 2J's 1C to get the go-ahead goal. Yeah, definitely. We see Arctic and Shallow in the middle again. Rez talking about communication. Both of them rotate back post, and that leaves a wide open for Rob. And he's not going to miss that chance 99 times out of 100. And he takes it this time to lead a 1-0 in Game 3. Absolutely 1-0 so far, and they've really struggled to really recover from the go-ahead goals that 2J's 1C have got so far this series and it's been awkward for them so far they've not really been able to get consistent offensive pressure in this series unlike 2J's 1C APS in the corner now Panda now awkward touch but Mug gets it off the backboard Rob could drop it in and Shallow just gets it out APS is there but Arctic makes a save Panda just desperately trying to bring it, bang it forward, desperately trying to buy his team some time, but APS has taken one of his teammates out of the play. Arctic might not get here, and it's gone in! The long shot from Mug is going to make it two. 
And that is the boost control right there, Rez. If you even look, there's not barely any pads even left on the field. Never mind big boost. And that is going to be a punishing goal every time. Arctic on his own, on his back wall. Trying to get that save, but he's unable to reach with zero boost again. Common occurrence. Absolutely. Just struggling with demo plays and another bump from APS on that one. Mug now. Arctic has to make a touch. Panda pumping APS and it just seems bumps out of frustration to take the move. Whereas they just seem to be much more calculated for 2J's 1C. Shallow now. Most makes the touch. Panda let's get it forward but Rob makes it clear. Mug gets it over the first. Rob looking for the double tap. Doesn't need it. It's an open net. And they're three goals up and they're knocking on the door of winning a third game. Definitely, we see the frustration coming out. I think you're right, the demo's on uh, take the moot side, a lot of frustration. You see Pandy going for the bump outside zone left for no reason. That gets him caught in the back post again. And then we see an open and no third man rotation. And Rob again, never going to miss that chance. He punishes for the third goal. Oh, try to get it out of defense. They just need to hang on to this lead. But knowing then they're going to go for more. And APS may have just pinched it into the opponent's net from his own corner but it won't quite go in rob aps may take this away but they're just styling on them at this point and you can see the frustration from take the moot they're not going for those passing plays anymore it's a solo play after solo play and that is not the way to break down this level of defense shallow now in the corner trying to get something going he did win last week but some put that down to his teammates, Rob and Mug playing so well. Arctic now looks to get the 50-50, but he's lost that considerably. Shallow now makes a save, but they don't need saves. They need more than saves. They need goals, they need shots, they need pressure. And those are the three things they haven't had at all this series so far, Waz. Definitely, are hitting the nail right in the head there, Rez. There is no chances for take to move this game whatsoever. And we see Rob again just styling on them. Another bump coming out, a common occurrence. Every game, the bumps are being deadly for them. It is disgusting how disruptive Mug is on the offense. Nothing they could do. They just can't see him coming. Mug taking after Virtuoso, perhaps in that respect, as the game, I don't want to say it is, but it may all be over, but I say that. Arctic will bring one back and I don't want to say the comeback's on but where's well, the comeback's on I don't know Rez it's going to be a tough one if it is going to come back one goal it's their second goal overall in the last three games they're really really struggling to find their form I don't see it happening but of course this is Rocket League at the end of the day and there's always a chance as they come out with the Spanish kickoff set it off APS tries to get it inside shallow it's an awkward play for him. APS now pressuring down the other end. He's <laughs> turtling towards that one. The BM coming through and it's almost bounced down to Rob. As Arctic looks for to get the 50-50. Mug now. APS up high. No one there to follow it up. Shallow. Clears long. Panda's there. He's misjudged a wave dash. And honestly, Waz, I've been disappointed with Panda this series. He's played well in previous tournaments. He's been playing well in RLIS as well. But he just, he just hasn't been able to get into this game at all, the series. Definitely, I think the disruptive play is really getting to him. But you see him getting bumped straight away just for talking about him. Mug, Mug is just man marking Panda at this point. But Panda, with a great read. Rez, what has happened? A lovely little touch. Panda using Mug's bumps to good effect. And he's going to put a second one in. And there might only be 37 seconds. And they might still need to get two goals. But whether they win or lose, that is a lovely finish from Panda. And... At least, at least we know he's still got clips in him. Definitely, we see his mechanical skill does come out eventually. He's been struggling to get it on show, but we see Rob and APS just doing just as well, and if not better, the last past three games. APS now looking to try and get a fifth to put this game to bed, but it may be in bed already. Rob gets a fake onto Arctic, right up into the air, exactly where he wants it. He can just kill so much time with this. Mug actually takes that one away from him. Mug just bounces to net. Shallow puts it in his own net. And it's going to be 3 to nil in games for 2J's 1C. Yeah, it's a poor performance overall for uh, Take the Moo here today. They're really, really struggling to find any form. And I think if this game's over and the morale isn't boosted in that next game, it's going to be a very, very rough game for them. Absolutely. It just seems that at the moment we had sort of the era where Mug and Fuji were dominating all the RLI tournaments. Now it just seems to be Rob and Mug. 
taking their place. Three games to nil in favour of 2J's 1C. And Waz, I just want to ask, if you are playing for Take the Moot, what, what, what are you saying? What are you saying to your teammates now to get the morale back up? Oh, I think they just need to have more fun. I think they're being very serious about it. They're really struggling here. They need to have more fun. I'm sure the, the comms have got quite uh, quite sort of destructive with each other, how it's playing. We see a lot of whiffs coming out today. We see Arctic especially really struggling to fit in the rotation with Pandan Shallow. Arctic being a bit more passive in that third, man. But I think they really need to just talk more with each other, let each other know that they trust each other, and just make sure this game's a win right here today. Absolutely. Even if they don't win the series, they want to sort of reclaim some dignity, but APS, he's put it in, and that just seems to have knocked the fight out of Take the Moot. I think you're right. He's just, just as talking about trusting each other, we see Arctic doesn't trust Panda, and eventually he just pops it over the top, and it's just an embarrassing goal to concede in nine seconds into game four, I'm afraid. Absolutely. And this could be a bit of a bloodbath at this rate. Panda now. APS touches it off the ceiling. Slightly strange touch there, but Marg still demoing as always, but Shallow will get a little bit of payback. Panda now, glued to the wall, can't get off it, and they, they just seem to have nothing left in the tank. The fight, as I said earlier, has been blown out of them, and this has just been a stellar performance from 2J's 1C. But they are going to level it up, though. Panda, with a long range effort, is going to find the back of the net past Rob. Definitely, it's a very important goal for Panda here. If they can take this one game, that's all they need. The morale will be back, and they'll be heading into game five with a good dignity and good, uh, good hopes for that win. Yeah, just the second goal Panda scored all series long, and for pa and for Panda, who's a player known for his mechanical and offensive ability, a pinch coming through. I thought that was going to find the back of the net. Less than a car length away to finding the net on that one, but. 2J's 1C styling on them at this point as Rob tries to get off the backboard and APS is there with a fantastic finish for what I think is, as of so far, the goal of the series. Yeah, this is just an amazing display of mechanical skill right here by APS. He knows Panda has the save and he trusts himself to squeeze it in the opposite way. I think that really just sums up the game, Rez. A tough attack for taking him out and a great clinical finish from uh, 2J's 1C here. Absolutely, the fake kickoff even coming through. Rob tries to play it across. Mug isn't there though. Not that time. Arctic trying to get there, but he's just beaten to the ball. Second best, and that is what take the moot have been all series long. Shallow drops it down. Arctic is there. Great speed from him. Could be an opportunity here to level things up. Mug there though. Panda now puts it on target, but it's all too easy for Rob. He's so good on defense. Gets a second touch on APS. Looking to get a double tap. Can he put it in? No, he can't, but Rob can put it off the crossbar. And Mug scores. They finally got there. An open net miss by APS. And then Rob can't put it in. But they are 3-1 up in this game. Definitely. We see Arctic up the top. You, you can see them rallies just blowing out of the team. Three open nets in a row. You don't see that often. This pinnacle of Irish Rock League here today. And I think that just goes to show the demos are really getting some. They're really struggling with this aggressive play. Absolutely. Rob looking to try and get a fourth on the board as APS. Looking for a flip reset in the middle. Shallow unable to get the bump onto Mug. Double commit from Panda and Shallow. It almost found its way into the back of the net. And Arctic puts it off the backboard. As the shot coming through. Lots of a bit of pressure here. It's cleared away and look all of a sudden they've got an open net to aim at. Pinched into the middle. Rob isn't there. Not quite in time should I say. And Shallow just gets back in time. And there is obviously still time in this one. But it just seems like it just seems like 2 J's one so you don't even need to give 100% to take down this team. Yeah I think you're right. I think 2 J's one c at this point are just having a bit of fun. You see them going like he's mucking the back to his own half. They're going for freestyles. And I'd really find it hard to believe that Take the Moot's going to manage to bring this one back here today, Riz. Yeah, it's going to be tough for them by any stretch. And it's especially tough that they're two goals down in this one. Arctic trying to get it clear, but Rob is there. Not a lot he could do. Shallow up high. Mug now. Arctic downfield, possibly towards Panda, but Rob is there to cut it out. And he's so quick to the ball, and that's just... The speed, that's one of the key things that take the moot have been missing this whole series. 
and up. Flipping around in the midfield out of either desperation or frustration. Possibly a combination of both. As Rob may have the bounce down read as Mug will try and do what his teammate could not. Panda now forward towards Arctic. Back across. Arctic wins the 50-50s going still. Only seven boosts to work with though. I can't see him getting a great touch on this one. Panda will get a touch onto that one and... The game is just dissolved into chaos at this point as players are flying off the ball and Rob will find the back of the net with that one. It's a sad sight to see, but they uh, take the move. I think they're just a defeated team at this point. You see Rob, a lucky finish overall, but shallow. They are just really struggling here today, Rez. I don't see the mechanics coming out at all. I don't see a gun yeah. back coming on. It's not an impossible at this point. Three goals in the next minute and a half and even if they do do that they've still got overtime and even if they win that then they'd have to do it three more times to win this series and I cannot see it happening 2J's 1C are going to take the win I would say in this tournament it will be the second time in a row for Mug and um, for Mug and Rob Kiernan and it's been a phenomenal performance from them all day Arctic trying to get a constellation goal with this one. He will, but it's only because the opponents were coming off the crossbar of their own net. And yeah, it's a really bad thing to see Rez the Arctic. The, at this point, 2J's 1C just want this game to be over. They know they're the winners, deserve it at that. It's going to be a 4 0 overall. And unfortunately, for Take the Moot, they're not going to be happy. Yeah, Panda saying in chat, I don't think I've played RL. I've played the death cam screen and. They have been second best by some margin in this series. Rob trying to look to add to his collection of goals. Can't put it in. APS in the corner now. Pinches it into the midfield. There's anyone there? Looks to pitch it with Mug. Can't make it happen. Arctic with a demo. And it's that. It's just that where the disruptive plays, especially from Mug, especially from APS as well, has just ruined the rotation, crippled it for Take the Moot. Definitely, we see Panda exactly what I was saying earlier on. He's just struggling to get going the demos. Some people say Rock League isn't the most strategic game, but we see a perfect display of tactical masterclass really coming there from 2J's 1C, knowing exactly what they're doing with their aggressive demos the whole series. Yeah, no, and normally when it's a 4 0 in the grand final of a tournament, the scoreline usually doesn't reflect how close it was, considering they're the two best teams, but in this series, 4-0 perfectly encapsulates how phenomenal 2J's 1C played in this grand final. I, I, I cannot express how impressed I was with them today, Was Absolutely. They just really showed why they deserved to win it last week. With uh, Sha Mug and Rob just playing splendid and APS just fitting in as that third man. I don't think they could have asked for a better third this week. APS, top player in Ireland, really showed it again today. These teams, any of them players are going to be really, really rough to beat in the upcoming weeks, Rez. I don't see them losing. Absolutely, and obviously with the ruling that the same team, the same roster of three players, can't play together for three weeks in a, or, or for three weeks after winning, it just means that um, that they're just going to have the Rob and Mug. They're just going to look for another player, and they're going to carry them to the win next week. And it was a phenomenal performance from them, and it was disappointing that, that there wasn't a, there wasn't really much of a fight from Take the Moot. Yeah, it really was a disappointment. I I don't think Take the Moot really done close to their potential here today. I think that first game, all the demos, all of the bumps, have really just got to their head, and they really just struggled. It. Yeah, and that summed up the tournament for them. 2J's 1C winning the second IEC event this week. They'll be taking home the prize pool, which is, I believe, 40 euros. Commiserations to take the moot. They had a good run through the rest of the bracket, but in truth, they were dominated in the grand final. Thank you very much, Waz, for joining me this evening. It's been a pleasure casting with you. Absolutely. It's my pleasure being here, Rez. Have a good one, man. Yeah, thank you. I've been Rez. I hope you have enjoyed the utter... Um, the utter destruction of Take the Moot at this grand final. There will be another IEC event coming up soon. Thank you everyone very much for watching. Good night.